Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna and I post videos every Monday and Friday. And if you're coming back from a previous video, then thank you so much for coming back. So today, as you can see by the title of this video, I am going to be testing out for the first time and reviewing a blackhead pore remover vacuum. So these have become popular kind of within the last year or two and I actually got scammed by a company um, in October 2019 with this product um, they like said that they were a real company they kind of took $40 from me and we called it a day and I never heard from them again but it's cool now I actually ordered one from like a real legitimate company if you guys know the youtubers Jules and Saad um, Jules has her own like Jules by Jules kind of jewelry kind of skincare line and I ordered mine from there and I actually unboxed it in a vlog a couple weeks ago and so here is the box because I already kind of unboxed it this is the box it's a multifunctional cleaning instrument so there it is and yeah comes in this and this is like the instrument and then it comes with four different types of kind of suctions that have different purposes so like this suction right here um, a tiny one is for just like blackheads um, this one is for exfoliation and then this one is for like to get little spots like on your nose and like your side of your face right here and everything like that I don't know if this is focusing at all and then this one is for I believe like your forehead bigger areas and if you want a less intense suction on like your blackheads and your pores near your nose area if you don't want like a super intense kind of suction feeling that this like tighter smaller one gives and so I'm just going to be testing it out for the first time today. I'm very excited and I'm sorry for my appearance. Um, as you guys know, in most of my videos, I do not wear makeup. And so you can basically see in videos, my skin isn't the clearest. Um, I do struggle with acne. I have for like many years now. Not like super, super intense bad acne. It used to be a lot worse than it is right now. But yeah, um, I have some acne right here um on my neck i just get like two or three pimples sometimes then i have an active one right here and that in this neck one is because it was recently that time of the month and so it's just kind of like hormonal acne that i basically get in the same spots every single month which is super fun love that for me um and I have like a couple scars um, on my like chin area just from acne in the past. I'm looking at myself in the mirror to try to see where my acne is at too. And then, hmm, if you can see, I look a little bit like Rudolph. Um, and this is the reason I realized that I needed to try this blackhead remover very soon because if you can see my nose right here, there is a little red dot, um, not that little, just a red dot and um, it's a little bumpy but not really like it's not a pimple um, I tried popping a blackhead and just squeezing it out really tight um, the other night and ever since then I had this red dot here and the blackheads still there so that's really fun uh, on my nose I have some blackheads I'm not sure if you're like able to see but on my nose I have some blackheads and I think I'm gonna try it on my chin I don't really have a lot of blackheads on my chin but I'm just gonna try it out to just see kind of what it does and what it suctions out of me I'm kind of excited I hope it's like when you do one of those Bior cleansing strips and then you take it off and there's all that like gunk like I hope it's really satisfying like that and so obviously this is it and it comes with like you press the button and there we go it turns on and then I think you hold it to turn it down and it has three different um, settings like I think it's like just like weak mid intensity and then intense and so oh yeah and then this is also this is the one for the forehead actually the one that's on it is the thicker one for the forehead and then this is just the circle one like I said before is actually not for the forehead it's for less intense 
nose blackhead kind of remover things so this is it right here and we're gonna go ahead and try it out um this is actually kind of the morning when i'm filming this and so i basically just washed my face for the first time today and with warm water and i cleansed my face with my clean and clear morning burst and so my face is all clean um i read that all you have to do before you do this is just like clean your face with warm water but i also just brought this towel because um i'm just gonna clean my face off a little bit because I didn't put on lotion or toner or sunscreen or anything yet today after I washed my face because I knew I was doing this and so my face is like a little dry my face gets dry now when I don't put on lotion because it's so used to it and so I'm just gonna go ahead and dab my skin a little bit and yeah now we are ready to go so let's try this thing out. I don't know exactly what setting I want to put it on right away. I think I'm just going to try this one and maybe like go on my forehead. I think I should read the instructions a little bit more before. Um, move it from top to bottom during use. Don't stay in the same place for too long. This can cause a redness of skin. It's recommended to use with a lotion or warm water before using it. Helps with pore purifying, puffy skin, acne treatment, blackhead and acne removal, remove dirt, non-irritating. Okay, so it's actually not recommended on skin with wounds or scars, so I'm probably going to avoid this little area of my face because, like I said, I do have scars there from past acne, and I don't really know. I'm kind of nervous to use it on, like, my active acne, like my two pimples right here and then, like, this one, so I think I'm probably just going to try it on, like, my forehead, little sides of my face right here, and, like, my nose for today. Hopefully it gets rid of this little Rudolph friend thing because that would be great. It's normal to for your skin to be red after. Don't press hard on the skin. It has a big pulling force. Um, after skincare, please make sure to moisturize and sunscreen. And don't scrub or any other exfoliating products before and after the skincare. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I think we're basically ready. I don't think it comes with any other directions. I also don't know how to use these little cotton pad thingies that it comes with um i don't know if i'm supposed to put this on this not really sure i think i'm gonna do that first but first i actually want to see just how well it suctions so let's see i'm gonna just turn it on grade one so the first one you can hear it i'm gonna try it on my hand oh my god oh that left a mark okay for not too long okay yeah left another mark that was strong I'm gonna try grade two just to see I'm gonna try it like here not on my vein okay that's pulling my skin if you can see that grade three let's see okay ow okay I'm probably going to start on my skin with grade one because I don't want to suck, I don't know, I do want to suck stuff out of my skin, but I don't want it to hurt. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and try the big one first because I feel like the little one might actually hurt even more. I don't know because it's a less amount of skin, but I'm just going to try this on my forehead and just see how to do everything. I'm going to try it on my forehead. Oh my god, it's making my skin red. It says move from top to bottom, I think. In the beginning it said that. Ow! What the heck? It's making my forehead all red. Okay, I'm gonna try a tinier thing because this hurts. I mean, it's disappearing. It's fading a little bit, but that kind of hurt and I didn't think it was going to hurt that much. I just thought it was going to suck stuff out. I do think you're supposed to use one of these things. So I'm going to try to put this on as best as I can right here. Okay, so I'm just going to try this on my nose because this is why I wanted to try it in the first place. I'm gonna put it up one because I don't really feel it. I'm gonna like go in here. Oh, 
Oh, I see stuff. Oh my gosh, I see, okay, I don't know if you guys wanna see this, if you guys don't like gross things, but it's in there. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's in the little thing. Okay, wow, it's actually working. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this wasn't a waste of money. I literally hate my blackheads and I didn't even realize I had blackheads until like a few years ago until I like really looked at myself close in the mirror and I was like, wow, I have blackheads. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, it's like really in there. Like gunk and stuff. That's amazing. I think my battery's about to die, so I might not be able to do this for much longer but I'll charge it. I'm just gonna keep going until it dies. Let's try to get that red spot on my nose away. So it's not to hold on one spot for too long though, so I'm not gonna do it too excessively. Oh wow, that's so cool. There's like stuff in there. I don't know if you guys can even see it. You can't, but it's actually taking like the redness away. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but you know what? It's working, so I don't even care. My nose is gonna be really red after this, actually, though, because I don't know if you're supposed to focus on one area for this long, but don't stay in the same place for too long. This can cause a redness of skin. This is literally why I got this. Oh, wow, there's like stuff in there. Okay. I haven't done this side of my nose as much. Let's play a game and see how long my battery will flash at me until my camera dies. That'll be fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna be all done with my nose for right now. I'm gonna take off the thing. If you guys don't like gross stuff, probably won't be watching this anyway, but I don't know if you can see, but there's like gunk in there. It's not focusing. That little like, that stuff that you can see on the inside, that's like gunk from my nose, which is really gross, but that means it works. So I'm gonna try the bigger setting now, the one that was originally on this, on my forehead to see if anything's on there now that I kind of know more how it works. And hopefully like from before, I, when I put it on my forehead, it's like not red anymore. So let's just try it. I'm feeling adventurous. Yeah, it still hurts a little bit, but now I can see if it works, because before I didn't know how to tell if it was working or not. Ooh, that's a lot. That was strong. Okay. I do see some stuff, but it's more like white, and I feel like the stuff in my nose was more yellow. But that's just, uh, could be the color. It's really rough, to be honest. So I think I might turn it down one, actually. I don't want to, like, hurt my skin while I'm trying to help it. Uh. Okay, so if the angle's a little off, that's because my camera battery died, and I had to charge it for, like, a few minutes. But while I was charging it, I looked, and, like, my blackheads look a lot less intense. It looks a little more, like, dried instead of kind of, like, an oily kind of look that it normally does. But I'm just going to try this in a couple more places just for you guys to see how it kind of works and for me to see how it works and how it works in certain places of my face better than others. So I think I am going to try just a little bit right here on my, like, lower chin area. Also, yeah... That's why they tell you to do it in short little movements because I think I like dragged this too much and then my face is like this now, but I'm sure that'll like fade and go away in like a few minutes. It didn't fully go away for about five days. But yeah, um, shorter strokes is definitely the move, but I think I'm just going to try it right here where like my hormonal acne normally shows up. I know you're not supposed to, I think, put it on like active acne, so I'm not going to put it like right there, but like in the surrounding area, I might try to put it because you know what, maybe it's not hormonal acne. I think it is like just because it happens, you know, around that time, but maybe it's just like there's a lot of buildup there too, which is why I get it in that area. So I think I'm going to just try it with the bigger one and see kind of, yeah, should I try it with the bigger one? 
I think I'm gonna try it with this one. It's a tad bit smaller than the big one. And then I can see if like gunk comes up because there's already like gunk, um, I guess, like oil and just build up from my skin on these two. And so I wanna see if like there's actually build up here. So I'm just gonna try this one and see. And this is I think the less intense circle one that you can use for blackheads and things too like the thin one that I used earlier um but I'm just gonna try this one so it's less intense around like my acne prone areas so I'm just gonna try it real quick and see if there's just any buildup right here like I said Ooh, I made a line there I hope these things fade really quick because I literally look like a vampire who dripped blood that's cute. I'm gonna hold my skin too. Don't really see anything so far. Whole chin area is like red now. Trying to do shorter movements and avoid that little active pimple there. Okay, I see like a little bit, but it's not enough to keep going in an area that's already acne prone and now it's all red, but it's okay. So now I think I'm just gonna try the big one one more time, just on larger surfaces of my face, just like my cheeks right here, just to see if there's any buildup. I really think the majority of my buildup was probably on my nose and maybe some on my forehead. I got a little off, but I'm just gonna see if there's some stuff on other Ow, little parts of my face. Okay, yeah, it's better when I hold it because then the little marks fade quicker. Ah. I see some stuff coming off, but not a ton. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't have done that long. Okay, that was fun. I think I'm done with the bigger one. I think the smaller one just works really well and it is a blackhead pore remover, so I think that's the thing that's supposed to work the best. So I'm just gonna go over it one more time, see if I can get any other gunk things and then finish up this video. So let's just see if we can get any more gunk off my nose area and blackheads. I honestly think this is the one that works the best. I have marks all over the rest of my face because I did longer strokes but I really hope that will come off soon and I got more gunk this time so that's a good sign I'm just gonna stop though right here use my little cloth to help calm down the areas of my skin that I pulled too much because I feel bad for my skin it's starting to fade though like quickly but not this one right here And yeah, there's my skin after. The little red mark is actually a little um, on my nose that was there before I started this video. It's actually a little bit better. Um, my nose actually does look clearer, but now I have a bunch of little other red marks on my face like this and here and here and there from when I pulled too hard. But I'm just gonna moisturize my face right now. Just show it a little love because I feel like that was really intense for it. And I kind of feel bad but it did help get gunk out like if I didn't see any change I would be kind of mad um, but I did see like stuff come out of especially the nose area so I'm actually happy about that if you can see I don't know if you can even see that like that little line right there is all the gunk so yeah I think that is going to be the end of this video I just wanted to kind of try this out, unbox it, test it, review it, kind of walk you guys through my first time using it. If you have one of these and I did this completely wrong, please let me know in the comments down below and just give me any other tips you have or if you don't even have one of these but just know that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. This was not like a 
showing you guys how to do it. This is kind of a little review of my first time trying it and just seeing how well it worked. And to be honest, it did work well on my blackhead nose area. Um, it was kind of my fault for the like little red marks that I got. Um, if you guys can, yeah, you can still see that. Um, but it was kind of my fault for these things because I did it too long, but it was kind of like I tried to get it off my face and that's why I kept pulling, but yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. It was my first time trying it. So next time it'll be even better. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me just kind of test this out for the first time. I tried to do my best to like explain it. I watched like a video or two of this before, but I feel like every kind of instrument is different and so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try this out for the first time and kind of review it if you did don't forget to give this video a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that would mean so so much i hope this helped you out if you were looking to get a blackhead pour remover or you just like watching these pour head remover vacuum videos so yeah i hope you guys are having a great day whenever you are watching this and i will see you in the next one bye guys